Paul, we begin tonight with developing news in a tragic child murder investigation. Tonight, three more suspects are under arrest in connection with the June shooting death of a 12-year-old Providence girl. It is a story that was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. 12-year-old Inese Vargas was killed and three women wounded after gunfire broke out during a graduation party at the Hartford Park housing development the night before Father's Day. This afternoon, two men faced a Superior Court judge charged with murder and firearms charges, while a third suspect sits in the state training school, bringing the total number of suspects arrested in this case to five. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live with the developing details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Susan and Mike, both of the men who are arraigned here today in Superior Court are being held without bail. Police now tell us they have everyone who was involved in this murder. Late at night on June 15th, Anise Vargas was shot to death at a graduation party at the Hartford Park housing development. The senseless death of Anise Vargas touched the soul of our city. Police say Anise was an innocent victim caught in the middle of an ongoing feud between two rival gangs in the city. This is a 12-year-old person that was taken innocently from a family. Devastation is what they faced and we vowed to hold people accountable. Police say that's exactly what they've done. Yesterday, police arrested three more people who've been indicted on murder charges. 23-year-old Luis Gonzalez and 19-year-old Angel Valerio were arraigned today in Superior Court. The third suspect was a juvenile at the time of the murder. I will state unequivocally we will be seeking a waiver to try that juvenile in uh, adult court. Two other men, Ricardo Vasquez and Brandon Castro, were arrested and charged with murder in July. It has concluded our investigation and only the prosecution remains. As Target 12 investigators first reported in July, according to an affidavit, Vasquez texted his girlfriend before and after the deadly shooting. One text read, expletive went down and there were three hit and one went down for good. Police say they have not recovered the gun that was used to kill Anise Vargas, and they won't say who they believe fired the fatal shot. Now, coming up new at 6, police have a message for all gang members in the city. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.